Woo! What's going on? What's going on? It is cold out here, y'all. Christine Austin ill checking in, checking in. I'm doing one of my three and a half, four hour drives out of the area. Um, I'm go help some seniors out here today. I drove up here yesterday and um, it was like all ice. So it took me five hours to get to my location that normally takes three, three and a half. Um, just because everybody was driving slow and had to. But anyway, guys, I know I'm always pumped. Yesterday was a phenomenal day. Let me tell you, it was a phenomenal day. In, in the early part of the day, though, the enemy tried. He tried. He tried me. He definitely tried me. And um, I just thank God that I dealt with the situation. I tried to rectify the situation. Um, and then I had to just realize that some people really are just the way that they are, you know, and I had to remind myself that, you know, even though I wouldn't do certain things because of my ethics and because of my belief system, um, doesn't mean somebody else wouldn't do that thing, right? And I cannot allow somebody else's choices to ruin my whole day, right? Just got to chalk it up as, okay, well, I was disappointed um, in this individual, disappointed in the situation, disappointed in how the whole conversation went. But again, that's because I was expecting somebody to do or be or respond as though I would. So after I realized that girl... You got to just let that go and it is what it is i don't went out here and i helped five beautiful people yes i said five people yesterday it was a great day um all of them were checking account business but i i like to go to this area although this area is um a lot of the individuals do not have a lot of money at all like it is very much um a depressed area right now a lot of uh, individuals younger individuals on drugs and the older individuals trying to help the younger generation by help you know taking insurance out for their uh, grandkids and things like that I do have a heart for these folk so I love to come up here I love to love on them and help them so even though the uh, apps they range in between $20 up to like 170 in this area um, I'm here to help, right? So let me tell you, I had a good old time yesterday. And I'm up here again. I'm on my way up here right now. And um, this area, again, I work areas that do not have signals. So I don't know when this is going to be uploaded. But uh, yeah, hope you guys tap in and join me. Yesterday, you know, when I was on my way home last night, and I was just thinking about my day and thinking about the people that I had an opportunity to, to talk to. First and foremost, um, after the BS that I learned yesterday, and I dealt with that, I had to go ahead and get quiet for a minute and pray. And I was like, you know what, Lord? I am in the business that I could just make those things right back. I can make that money right back, right? just by helping people but i had to make sure i got my mind back together so did my little prayer i was like lord you know what just let me see the people today that need me give me the words that i need to be able to touch somebody's heart to touch their spirit to let them know that i am a child of god and that i am only here to help them and only to help them with what they can afford and just clear my mind of the uh, disappointments and the just the unbelief of some things that happen, right? And it's like, you know, we always want to want to ask the question like, why me? What did I do? What do I ever do, right? But that's not the question to ask. It's you got to forgive people, pray for them, hope that they, you know, understand the errors of their ways. Um, and keep it moving so we had to pray that off me 
So, stomped my feet and kept it moving. Man, had this guy, he just knew we weren't gonna cover him because he was so overweight. Man, I mean, he was so overweight. Uh, and I had to make sure he can get up. You know, we are underwriters. Uh, he was in this chair. And I told him, I said, you know, I need to see that you can get up out of this chair, that you are not, you know, bedridden. Like, that's just not, you know, your bed. And so he, he got up for me, and I was glad to see that. He's like, you know, it's really hard. I can only walk a couple steps, you know, and he's really um, tired, but he's he just had the surgery. So prayerfully in the next couple months, um, that weight will be shed off of him, and he will be able to start moving again. So it's just a blessing to meet people and to talk to them and, you know, um, hear their story, right? Everybody has a story. And uh, it's, it's sad that so many people judge. We, you know, we, we judge on what we see. And we don't know what has happened. We don't know the story behind it. And, um, you know, I just thank God for being able to have that conversation. You know what I mean? He was a really nice guy, really nice guy. He just dealt with a lot of um, bad things and allowed depression and eating to take over. And now he's ready to get his life back. So prayerfully, he will be able to have that turnaround so that he does not lose his life because of um, the eating. So that was one of my clients yesterday. I had another client. Guys, let me tell you. When you are out here and you are servicing your clients, stop thinking that your final expense is only for their cremation or their burial, y'all. This is a cash benefit, right? The money, whatever money's left over, goes to the family. And the reason I say this is because I thank God for the one person who went out and they wrote a policy. It was a different company altogether. It's from Transamerica Company. And the agent went out and um, he wrote a $2,500 policy for this, this gentleman. And um, he just wrote it two months ago. And the guy was filling out cards for more insurance. I'm like, okay, so you just filled out this policy. Um, was there any particular reason why you didn't get more than $2,500 with this company? And he said, well... That's what he quoted me because I told him I was thinking about doing cremation. What? I was like, oh, okay. Well, that's awesome. And I told him we are not in the business of coming in and canceling policies and, you know, trying to get you to cancel a policy to, to get on with our company. Um, but I, I told him I was going to go ahead and do my discovery questions, uh, ask him a few things so that I can get a full picture of what I'm dealing with and we'll go from there. This individual paid an additional um, $173 with me for $25,000 worth of coverage, right? And I'm a final expense company as well. So we have to, you know, ask questions. We need to ask more questions. We need to be um, clear when we're listening and also understand that this is not just um, money for their cremation or burial. Yes, we're going to have some clients that say, I just want to take care of my cremation. I don't want to make anybody rich. And even those individuals, you know, are you asking them how old is their, is their mother still alive or their father still alive? How did they die? You know what I mean? Um, things like that to see if there's longevity in that family or the type of health issues that are going on in the family because this person might live a little bit longer, right? They may live another 10, 15 years. And you want to make sure that when you're sitting with them today, that they are taking out enough insurance to cover their future as well. Because sure, they can increase later, but they're going to be older and they may have a health condition at, the, at their increased time, which the rate is going to be crazy different, right? So, um, yeah, that was a blessing. I was like, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And another lady. Oh, I did. I, I had, I did five apps yesterday and one. So I did six presentations, five apps. One, one lady, I was not able to help her. And I just, it was like, wow. Um, she had a granddaughter that lives with her and 
they're kind of like taking care of each other. The granddaughter's father committed suicide after the mother died of cancer, um, left the daughter. The grandmother, she's older, disabled, and she had no siblings, no brother, the, the grandchild, no brothers or sisters. She's completely by herself. The mother um, didn't have any, like, brothers or sisters. So the grandmother was like, I'm it. There's nobody else but my granddaughter. I felt so bad. Like, can you imagine that? Can you imagine, you know, being an 18-year-old, your mother and father are gone, you have no aunts, no cousins, like, for whatever reason, you know, there's, like, no other family, and your grandmother is old and um, has no money, has no life insurance. And, and the crazy thing is she told me that the last four family members that died within the last year uh, nobody had life insurance and nobody had money to even pay for the cremation and that the um, the state did it for free I was like I've never heard of that other than a body being unclaimed and then you know all of the bodies will be dumped together and cremated which is kind of sad but the lady was telling me that they actually received the ashes for you know the uh, their loved ones their, her mother and father and you know somebody else that died and I'm like I need to research that because that's crazy that would be a blessing if they could do it for free right we wouldn't be here so of course I asked the lady why she fed off the card and she thought that um, it was going to be a free benefit for um, her as well as her granddaughter which it is not so even the $15 plan was enough to carry her cremation and leave a little bit of money but she was just heck bent on $15 was too much and she didn't have anything extra and I mean the daughter's 18 she doesn't even have a job or granddaughter um, terrible like that was sad so I left out of there praying for them like lord like I couldn't even imagine I couldn't even imagine that and I cry about you know my one sister passing away and you know her not being here anymore but I have another sister and I have an adopted sister and, and you know I have my girlfriends that I call sister girls like I, I do have people around me that love me and I love them and that you know I'm connected to so guys yeah some sometimes you know we go into these homes and there's nothing we can do there's nothing we can do but pray for them which is like the best thing we can do so that was another person um another guy he was super easy he was like listen i need five thousand worth of coverage my you know so and so has this policy and they told me i needed to call the company so he called the company so that was super easy i was like wow thank you um kind of surprised like why didn't your friend or family member to tell you their agent right and it just made me think like I need to get in front of my clients y'all because they may be talking about Lincoln Heritage and how wonderful the company is and they may have forgot about us because we're not in front of them enough so I'm like yeah I need to um, send out a postcard or a little something something to my little clients right let them know hey I'm still here I'm still working you have family members that need me I'm here to help right so Make sure you stand in front of your clients. So, yeah. So, yesterday ended up being a really good day. Got home, and uh, I was exhausted. But I did have two calls um, from existing clients that they're, both of them um, had their sons as their beneficiary. And both of them's sons died. One was murdered, and the other one um, overdosed. Drug overdose. So... You know, while we're out here and we are getting these beneficiaries' names, we need to make sure we're asking for their information so we can call and make sure they're covered also. We need to make sure that everybody's covered. So that's it for my little update for you guys on my, that was Monday. Today is Tuesday. And I'm out here today. I, um, I hit 21 doors yesterday 
And let me back up. I ordered 72 leads at the beginning of this month. So that way I had all of those leads and I was able to put them in little pockets. Like, you know, all of my leads on my, my map. So I grabbed those 20 and then the next 20 and then the next 20 and then 10 because this day these leads are all spread out so in between from like one house to the next it's like 10 to 25 minutes right but it's okay because it's just part of the process it's my job I'm just gonna go and drive and enjoy the scenery a, a red robin just wrote flew past me like the birds are out here it's 27 degrees I don't even know why they're here but that's it guys so I'm done rambling about my day and about how good God is and you know you just gotta understand the folk are just not like you do not let people throw you off of your game that keeps you from doing what you came out here to do which is help families right because in helping the families in this business it helps your own so with that I am out peace peace if you are a subscriber Thank you for watching, guys. If you are not a subscriber, why don't you go and subscribe? Hit the little bell. Be notified whenever I upload any videos. Um, plug in. Join the mailing list that will, you know, give you updates when anything is going on. You can text LIFE now, one word, L-I-F-E-N-O-W, and you're going to text that to 22828. The number is 22828. You'll get a text message back that says, Submit your email, submit your email, and you will be connected to the Life Now community. So, tons of things are coming up. I am excited. I'm excited. 